Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video series of videos where I take a look at some more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Apologies uh, that there was no Fat Friday last week, I was under the weather and I apologise that there was no Fat Friday the week before that because um, it's been 10 years since I had one and I didn't realise they'd come back and I got myself a McRib. And all I can say is, while 10 years is a significant period of time, I don't remember them tasting that bland and that's underwhelming. I don't know if they changed the recipe, but yeah, I'll go as far as to say, right, that if you love the McRib and you've not had it since it's come back now, do yourself solid, right? Go and buy a Rustler's Rib Burger instead, toast the bun, put some uh, onion on that, obviously some barbecue sauce, put some um, pickles on that, uh, if that shit, you know, floats your boat, uh, and eat that. Because honestly, I can tell you that that tasted better than this that I had last week. Also, apologies that my camera's on the piss. And while we're apologizing for everything, apologies that it's darker than my soul in here now. But it's overcast to tits and it's been raining a little bit on or off, which I am a fan of, but it's incredibly dark. And obviously, I've got to bang this out now because it's going to get dark um, soon since the clocks have gone back. Anyway, I'm dying in my own salivation here. What have I got this week? Uh, someone sent me a PM on Facebook or a DM. I don't know. What's the difference? Uh, don't answer. Don't care. Uh, on Facebook about, I don't know, a couple of weeks ago. and said, do you like hot food? Uh, you like pizza? Get your ass to Marks and Spencer's um, because they've got a triple hot pizza. Uh, I found it really hot. I think I responded with thanks for the heads up. I'll be the judge of that. Um, yeah, so I got my ass to Marks and Spencers. The thing is, now, now that we've had, uh, now that our new dystopian communist overlords have had their budget, where they decided that every single person in the country uh, has to be punished, no one is allowed wealth ever whatsoever in the country unless you're a member of the Labour Party. That's how it works with these people. That's how it works with communists, isn't it? So probably the last time I'll be shopping there for a while because this was a fiver. Yeah, this was a fiver. You know they're like £3.80 uh, in supermarkets if they're chilled like this, because obviously it's just a chilled pizza, you know, at the deli pizza counter, like Sainsbury's and Tesco's and stuff like that. This is smaller than that, and this is a fiver. But it's M&S, isn't it? So you're supposed to suck it up and accept that, hey, it's M&S, it's bound to be better than everything else, therefore I don't, like, uh, don't mind paying more money for it. Otherwise uh, known as being called a uh, snob. But... I've had hot pizzas before. Anyone who watches this series of videos will know that the two from Iceland I had, the first one, scarily spicy pizza, was fucking hot. Like, that thing was nuclear. Um, and it was all right. It, it tasted nice. Then they got rid of it because it was a Halloween thing. Then they brought in the... It, out again about 18 months ago, I believe. Maybe two years ago. Time does fly when you do this series of videos. Uh, and it was the um, incredibly hot sauce pizza and it certainly was incredibly hot but they forgot to make it taste of anything other than bitterness yeah that was incredibly incredibly excuse me really pops disappointing then i had their this is more recently than that their hot honey and pepperoni pizza which was banging uh, that was a three chili rating, so that's what this is. This is a three chili rating, so this does meet my minimum requirement, which is I don't get out of bed for anything less than three uh, chilies. Uh, and to be fair, three chili rating on a pizza is pretty much up there because the exception of those, um, you know, Iceland ones, which is in their gimmick range, you generally don't see a pizza uh, on a three chili rating. So, and also since it was recommended, I thought I'll have a go on this bad boy so yeah like i said this was a fiver 24 hour slow fermented dough don't care we use speciality flour also don't care for uh, an authentic crisp and chewy crust how are you crispy and chewy at the same time just saying so um pizza takeaway m s triple hot pizza unique wood fired stone base 
uh, base, stone baked base I should say, hand topped with jalapeno and mojito peppers, spicy pepperoni uh, and our signature buffalo sauce uh, on a hand stretched base. Buffalo sauce you say? Ooh, ooh hello. Let's have a look at the cooking instructions. So, uh, oven, electric, 200 degrees Celsius, but we care not for the Fahrenheit. Um, fan, 180 degrees Celsius, and gas mark six, 11 minutes. How can you be 11 minutes for both? Oh, it is dark in here. How can you be 11 minutes for both? Like, there's 20 degrees, 20 degrees, uh, yeah, no, 20 degrees Celsius difference, uh, you know, in the heat, and you're saying that both will cook it for 11 minutes. I do get, I am preheated. Thank you. I do get nervous doing pizzas because you can fuck them up so easily. And once, if you, if you like, if the cheese is not like, you know, cheesy, you know, like if, it, if it's nuked, if it's like, you know, it goes out dark um, kind of orange color, pizza ruined, absolutely pizza ruined. I find it even more nerve wracking when I do it like this, uh, when I'm doing it chilled and not frozen. Anyway, I digress. What's in this bad boy? Pizza base topped with spicy tomato, uh, spicy tomato sauce, mozzarella, can't read in it because what little light I'm standing in front of, mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, um, chili sauce, sliced green jalapenos, and red chili peppers. What happened to the mojito, mojito? I don't know. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Um, chilies. Mojito. Rokito. Retarded. Anyway, let's open this bad boy up and see what it looks like. Right, so I will be needing one of these and um, what I'm going to do, which I know you don't need to do this, but in my experience, it doesn't hurt. Put a little bit of oil on it, just to doubly make sure that it doesn't stick to it. Like I said, probably a tad overkill, but you know, What's the worst that could happen? Shouldn't have said that out loud, but oh hum, we live, we learn, hopefully. Right, you go back over there. You go in there. Uh, you go for sure. Can I just slide? No, I can't just slide the wall. Right, it doesn't look too sparsely topped, if you will. I always wonder are you supposed to open these? Oh, no, 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 no. Leave my, no man behind. There we go. Ooh, I can smell that. I can tell you. Come on, come on. I can smell the peppers. I can definitely smell the peppers. My finger just went through the base. Which is not a good sign. It fills up the whole tray. Right, well, you can go in the bin. You can't, because you're stained with food. And I don't want the bin men to bollock me like they did last time with that shit. Right, so let's bang this bad boy in the oven. Before we bang this bad boy in the oven, I should probably get my phone ready. Do I have anything new in Crisp Corner this week? No, I don't. I did have something new in Crisp Corner. Um, they were chili um, tortilla chips I bought from, like, a generic you know, 7-Eleven, uh, uh, and they were amazing. They were the saltiest things I've ever had, which is a good thing. I understand it's not necessarily good for you, but I do like, like you know, tortilla chips to be really, really salty in the taste. Dying here. And chilies, well, they were, they were really nice. Unfortunately, I can't show you them because I ate them. Uh, Robert liked them, though, and he says hello. Hello. However, I do have something uh, in Eddie's bar. Welcome to Eddie's Bar. I finally managed to track me down uh, some of this Heinz Scarily Good Monster Munch uh, Pickled Onion Flavour Mayo. Now, help if I would have it in shot there, wouldn't I? I'm assuming this was for Halloween stuff. I saw this all over Facebook. People were sending me pictures saying, hey Dave, have you seen this? This is right up your um, alley and stuff like that. I went to every supermarket, uh, like every Audi, Lidl, Sainsbury's, Tesco's, um, as the, excuse me, Windy Pops. And I don't just mean like the ones in my local area. Whenever my travels anywhere like that, I would go and check. I'd check like the Metro versions of like Tesco's and Morrison's and stuff like that. I'd go into corner shops and everything. And I could not find this absolutely anywhere because shit like this is right up my um, street, as I just said. 
Then I was in Iceland the other day, and when I was in Iceland, it was on the shelf. Um, there were only two of them. I wasn't even really looking for it. I just happened to walk by and my spider sense tingled and I saw it yeah and there were just two of them on the shelf in an area they clearly shouldn't be and there was no um, label for them saying how much it was or anything like that but I thought I'm not looking a gift horse in the mouth and all that shit so I grabbed the bottle I'm going to assume it was probably two quid maybe a bit more expensive than two quid because it's Heinz hey look it's still got the purple monster months kind of coloring going on on the back as well there so I don't know what it's like um, usually Heinz knock these out of the park though, so I'll let you know, but yeah, cheese uh, and pickled onion flavoured mayonnaise sandwiches. Food of gods, what's not to love about that? So yeah, generally glad I found this. Let me know if you managed to find it, because like I said, everyone on, well, everyone on Facebook shows me everything and I can never find it. I still can't find the triple X stuff um, in any Iceland. I've been in an Iceland, I can put you down now. I've been in an Iceland where on the outside of the freezer, they actually have a big sticker saying, triple, uh, not triple X, that's a fucking wrestler, Dave. <laughs> um, pepper X, which is that new pepper that this bloke's made by, made by crossbreeding and shit like that. Uh, so they had the sticker outside on the curry section freezer to say hey look what we got but they didn't have it in there not because it was sold out they had no space there so I don't know why does life mock me such right so we do this first because I want to get this 11 minutes I want to get this as close as I possibly can uh, right where are you Bosch stopwatch stopwatch click It's still on, what was I timing? It's still on nine minutes. It's been there for two weeks. Bosh. I'm gonna do this for nine minutes and then we'll judge it um, by eye uh, from there because uh, the fact that it says 11 minutes in both temperatures, you know, like for a fan assisted and non-fan assisted, makes me a little nervous and this is genuinely my tea and I don't want to fuck it up so see you in a bit right so I'm doing this actually to 11 minutes uh, I'm taking an awful big risk here Lord Vader point to the quote because I had a look at nine minutes and the bottom of the base uh, wasn't crispy but the top looked pretty much done so let's get this bad hey light look at you let's get this bad boy out please don't be fucked up Right, can you get away with it? I'm back. I think I got away with it. No, I didn't. I think that looks alright. Just about on the turn. Uh, just about on the turn. You go in sure. You go off sure. Yeah, just about on the turn. I'm not sure about the um, base though. Anyway, uh, let's cut this bad boy up. Right, so... I haven't made any napkins, but first world problems and such. Yeah, the base isn't crispy, but I'm not doing any more than that because uh, you go in here. There's no way that it wouldn't burn uh, if I did it any longer. So, I mean, I don't know. I've never had a pizza from Marks and Spencer's before, but as you can see, all the cheese and shit is done. Let's cut this fucker up. Well, I would hope your crusts are uh, uh, crunchy because you did advertise it on the packaging, didn't you? So, do I want... No, we won't have big pieces because we don't know if it's nice yet. You'll go over here. Alrighty, before I try this, I'll need a fire extinguisher of choice. I have... Um, Vive lemon zero sugar. These are like 180 for six uh, in maybe even less than that 130 for six in Audi. Basically, it's Audi's uh, knockoff um, lemon Fanta. And you know what? This stuff is liquid crack. It's absolutely fantastic. I love Fanta, lemon Fanta, but the problem is I don't drink it. Um, this is killing me because it's not a diet drink and I don't like non diet drinks. I will need you. Um, yeah, don't like non-diet drinks. So they nailed it with that. It basically tastes exactly the same as Lemon Fanta, but it's a diet drink. Anyway, Marks and Spencer's Triple Heat um, Pizza. So yeah, look, there's no crispiness in the base whatsoever, but it said 11 minutes. 
at 180 degrees Celsius from Ken up for the Fahrenheit. And I was not going to do it any longer than that because look, I won't have ended up with any cheese. But there's a whole big chunk of jalapeno there. Anyway, and red peppers, rakito or whatever. Two tears in a bucket. Fuck it. First things first, I know that was only my first mouthful. The heat's coming in now. It's lashing the back of my throat. It's made the end of my tongue go um, squiffy. Had a little tingle to cough then. So there is heat there. Excuse me, big. There's definite heat there. I would cocoa on that bite because I got a massive mouthful of um, jalapenos. I'm still waiting for the taste of anything to kick in. I'm aware I'm wearing the wrong colour shirt for this job. Right, it's hit my, my chest. Do you know what? Oh, excuse me. Um, I can't fault the heat. Cannot fault the heat. It doesn't taste of anything. It's, it's not like kicking in your senses like the Iceland hot sauce one did but there's no particularly I can't taste cheese I know it's on there but I can't taste it pepperoni Let's try I've had better pepperoni on frozen pizzas. Come on, M&S, you're m &S. I've followed it to the letter. And the base is just wimpy, limp. Not often I say this on one mouthful, one slice. There's no point eating it. There's no flavour on that piece left whatsoever. Really, Marks and Spencers? Anyway, palate cleanse. At least you taste of something. Fuck. Um... There's certainly less taste on it now. There is no taste of anything. The cheese is bland as you like. The pepperoni uh, is bland as you like. Have a look so I don't stand on it and go tipped up. Um, the only taste are the peppers. Um, I mean, there is heat in it, as I said, but heat without taste. Have I got a sniffle? I have. Heat without taste. It's pointless. But, I mean, there's a little bit. Obviously, I can taste jalapeno. It's not just a question of I'm hot. I'm hot and I can taste jalapeno. However, I'll have to bit of pepperoni. Windy Pops. To say I'm disappointed. You're fucking Marks and Spencers for God's sake. You're the chosen one. It's on my chest. I got a sniffle. It's on the back of my throat. End of time's gone. Lips are gone. I just can't taste anything. And not because it's kicked me in the mouth with the heat shovel. There is no flavour to this pizza whatsoever. 
honestly, go and get the chili dog one I had from Iceland uh, a couple of months ago that was what? One chili rating? Because it may have only been one chili rating, but at least it tasted of something. Should I put more meat on there? Should I put some spicy meat on there? And your pepperoni? I, should, I know I should be picking it off like this, but you're supposed to be hot. No, you're not. You're just regular pepperoni. There's nothing hot about regular pepperoni. I'm telling you, I'm actually sweating, by the way. I'm actually sweating. Triple heat pizza, Marks and Spencers, five pounds. Um, it gives you the heat. It certainly gives you the heat. It gives you absolutely nothing else. Your Marks and Spencers. I'm not a snob when it comes to shopping, but the bottom line is, if I go to Marks and Spencers, I know that I'm paying considerably more for a product that I could get anywhere else. So I expect you to deliver in the quality department, and you have not. This is a fail. Uh, I would never have this again. And you want my honest opinion, I recommend that you don't. I've had it, you don't have to. I took that bullet. You're welcome. Windy Pops. But yeah, this is unbelievably disappointing. If you have had this and I've just got a bad batch, um, by all means, let me know. But yeah, oh, I feel a little bit sad. I haven't had a bad Fat Friday in months. Yeah, it's anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.